What is going on guys? Welcome back to the Crew 2 and in this video I'm going to be going over the best way to level up the air race planes here because it seems like these planes are going to be a very important thing to have leveled up because most of the summits seem to have a skill that is required to use one of these planes because let's be honest no one's really running the aerobatic planes on those because while the air race are way better in every way they have way better handling and or stability plus I notice they're also a lot faster and I personally find them a lot more fun to use. Now you guys could probably run any plane you would like when leveling these up but personally I would highly recommend taking a look at the Zivco Edge 540 V3 or the lovely Harman Rocket 3. I would say these are probably the two planes you're going to see the most on most of the leaderboards and I personally found them to be the best overall in this class plus they're really fun to fly as well. Now I also do want to mention this as well by the way guys, I will not be running the Nitro Chemist set on the Air Race planes in this race as well because I'm going to be running the Scorebreaker set. Funnily enough, I do not have a Loot Digger set for the Air Race planes because for some weird reason, I managed to get the Nitro Chemist before that which is honestly really rare. But having that set on the planes guys is going to be incredibly good for the events there. Having Gateway and Perfectionist basically makes these planes untouchable on those races. But the craziest part is having a Scorebreaker is also going to be very important because most most of the skills require the scorebreaker set to get the most points. I do feel like this is also a must have, but anyway, let me show you guys my favorite race to do right now. So when it comes to the best event I like grinding out in the air race class in general for getting parts and or just trying to get a little extra money as well, I'm going to recommend the Jersey City Air Race over here pretty close by to the racetrack. Now the main reason for this event is I found this one to be the most fun to do compared to the others. Now I did test out a lot of the other air races around the map and I'm not going to lie guys, I was not enjoying many of them at all. Like, for example, a lot of them are going to be pretty easy to do at basically all under two minutes, but I noticed some of the tracks on some can be more frustrating to do than others, like the Navajo Trail over here. Now, don't get me wrong, these are going to be a lot of fun to do as well, even like the one over here in Vegas, but I personally found the one in Jersey City to be the easiest one to do out of all of them. Now the main reason for that is this one's going to have a very simple track and it can be done in around a minute and 30 seconds or so. I also found this one to be a lot of fun, plus on Ace, it's not a frustrating event to do even in any plane you guys might be using, which I do think is a plus. But let's jump into this event right now and I'll talk about this a little bit more. So now jumping right into the Jersey City Air Race. So this is going to be a very important class to level up and there's a lot of reasons for that. So for one, I noticed most of the summits are going to have some type of skill in it and well we all know the aerobatic planes are honestly not used all that often which I think is funny. Because I honestly do not touch those planes unless I absolutely have to. And I would say the air race planes are probably going to be better in almost every way. They're a lot more stable and a lot more fun to use. And while well, using one of these in like an aerobatic skill, I think is going to make that a lot easier. Now when it comes to the plane you guys want to use, you could probably use basically any of these planes if you would like to. All of them can most likely complete these races on ace with no issues at all. But I do think some might be easier to use than others. So for example, I've been basically running the Zivco Edge for a very long time now. Now funnily enough, my favorite plane before was the Harman Rocket 3, which is also still really good. I do know they did nerf that plane a while back because it was kind of overpowered. It was very easy to use. It also had like amazing stability. But personally, I would recommend trying out the Zivco here and really using this thing on a lot of these events because I love this plane. And not only that, guys, I use this on all the aerobatic skills in the summits as well, plus any race that might show up. You know, as long as it's a no restriction for that matter. And this plane never seems to disappoint me at all. If you guys might have been wondering as well, using something like a scorebreaker set on one of these races are probably not going to be your best option. But at least you will have a max out gold set in order to go after others. Now it's kind of funny that I never got the loot digger set. But that's probably for good reasoning because the game was a lot nicer to me with the RNG of these races. Thank you all so much for watching. 